Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows 10 update error that is 0x8024001e. So if you are receiving this error message while updating your Windows 10 to the latest version, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run Windows Update Troubleshooter. For that, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings, go to Update and Security, and then click on Troubleshoot. Click on additional troubleshooter. Click on Windows update and then click on run the troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is done, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10 once again. Now still you are receiving the error message. In that case, you can go ahead and restart Windows update services. For that, you can go ahead and type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find Windows Update in the list. So I scroll down and here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update and then make sure startup type, uh, type is set to automatic. Then click on apply and if start is highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. And then when that Windows Update is selected over here, click on restart the service. And then try to update your Windows 10. Still you are facing the problem, then run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So open PowerShell. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on Windows PowerShell admin. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command and then paste it on the PowerShell window. Hit the enter key and let the scan complete. Now once this scan is 100% complete, run the second command paste the second command and then hit the enter key and once this scan is 100% complete then restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10. Now still you are receiving the error message then you can use Windows 10 update assistant from Microsoft website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Now over here you can see update now option. Click on update now. A exe file will download. Run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. It will check the update and if there is any pending update, it will let tell you to install it. And once installed, your windows will be up to date. Now still you are facing the error message. If nothing is working in that case, on the same website, you can use media creation tool. So click on download tool now. A exe file will download. Run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now it will load media creation tool. Agree to the terms, click on accept. Now by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Make sure this is selected then click on next. Now it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. This process will take time. Now once the download is complete, before installation, uh, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now when once this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install and once the installation is done, your windows will be up to date and you should not receive any more error message. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.